Hi guys, welcome to Learn at Home. I'm Siddharth and today we're going to discuss about pressure measurement. Before going any further, I want to tell you this is a English video version. If you want a Hindi version, you can click on the link given in the description below. Now, continue to our pressure measurement chapter. Before understanding the pressure measurement, we have to understand what is the pressure and why we need to measure it. For detailed description about pressure, you can go to the link that is given in the description below about pressure and you can understand in detail what the pressure is. Now briefly I want to tell you, pressure is a force that is exerted on a surface perpendicularly. It can be a solid pressure, it can also be a fluid pressure. Now every time we measure the pressure that is mostly gauge pressure so let me tell you what the gauge pressure is actually we are measuring the pressure of instrument directly and uh, the pressure of atmosphere is sub subtracting from that that's why that pressure we are measuring is the gauge pressure if we add the atmospheric pressure also in that we can get the absolute pressure value so why we need to measure the pressure actually there is a vast field of pressure in every industry actually in every application there is a factor of pressure in industries in every process we have to measure some variables and in these variables there is also a most important variable that is pressure for every pr process pressure is so much important before manipulating the pressure factor or converting the pressure factor or rescaling the pressure we have to measure the pressure so now let's start the pressure measurement actually the pressure measurement devices are so much and there is a vast field of pressure measurement so i have divided the pressure measurement chapter in five different parts today we're going to understand the first part liquid column element devices in which we can include liquid column manometers inclined manometers mercury barometer or micro manometer other four measuring devices are mechanical pressure measurement pressure transducers measurement of high pressure and measurement of vacuum we are going to discuss about also these four chapters in next lectures so let's start about liquid column element devices as I told you, we divided liquid column elements devices in four different categories. First is liquid column manometer, second is inclined manometer, third is mercury barometer, and the fourth one is micro manometer. Let's start with liquid column manometer. What the liquid column manometer is? The device used to know about the pressure difference in the pipeline. It is simple in construction. Basic law of physics are applied for calculation of the pressure drop. It is a glass or metal tube with U band providing with two legs. Manometric fluids are mercury or carbon or tetrachloride etc. Where the density should be higher than the fluid which flow through the pipe. Manometric fluid will be filled in the tube for the value the two legs are connected to the point on which we are inserted to calculate the differential pressure when this is done the fluid which flow in the pipe or tube will enter into both legs the pressure on the legs will differ showing the deflection of height in the manometric fluid this is the theory and now let's understand what the really liquid column manometer is sorry in right hand side you can see there is a youtube manometer three images are given there the first one is 
level of this red liquid is same in second level of liquid is different and third also the level is different now let's understand liquid column manometer is a manometer in which we have a youtube type youtube type a tube in which we filled a measuring liquid that is a certain density uh, actually higher than the density of fluid we are measuring it has two legs when we apply the pressure on any leg the fluid move on to other direction as you can see in the second image the pressure is applied on this and the fluid is moving in up direction in second if we applied a vacuum or applying a pressure on different leg the fluid is moving in this direction now you can understand if we apply the pressure on both side what we will get if we apply the pressure on this side also on this side the difference of the pressure we will get in the level as you can see in this Im image here is the youtube manometers that is using we are using in industries now let's talk about the fluid for amplifying the deflection in the liquid column manometer liquids with lower density could be used or one of the limbs of the manometer may be inclined commonly used manometer liquids are mercury water or alcohol some of the important and describable properties of manometer liquids are higher chemical stability low viscosity low capillary constant low coefficient of thermal expansion low velocity low vapor pressure as we talked about for better result we have to take a solution or a liquid that is that have a lower density but at least higher density from measuring fluid okay it must be high chemical stability because if it is low chemical stability the reading will be affected by chemical equation Chemi low viscosity and low capillary constant also is most important for this YouTube manometer low coefficient of thermal expansion because if if it had a high coefficient of thermal in expansion it can be change the level and we can get a different level low volatility and low vapor pressure now let's talk about how thermal stability high thermal stability and low volatility are important to maintaining a constant and that is specific gravity high viscosity cause transmission lags as you can understand if the fluid is high in density and high in viscosity the lags and there is a lag difference between transmission transmission and output we are seeing thermal expansion cause change in zero reading as i told you before by thermal expansion and that the fluid can change and now the zero is defaulted or faulted sorry while measuring low pressure vapor pressure of the manometric fluid is an important consideration now move on to application of youtube manometers where we are going to use it it is used for low range pressure measurement extensively used in laboratories it used in orifice meter or venturi meter for flow measurement actually for differential pressure measurement it is used for calibration of gauges and other instruments it is used for measuring pressure drop in difference different joints and valves they are used as level devices to sense liquid heads advantages of youtube manometer simple in construction first advantage is simple in construction second is low cost and easy to buy third one is very accurate and sensitive the fourth is it can be used to measure other process variables last one is wide range of manometric fluids are available such as mercury water aniline tetraboromethane boroform and carbon tetrachloride 
now talk about disadvantages of manometer they might break during transport transport because they are made of glass or a transparent metal certain manometric fluids cause hazards when exposed to atmosphere as we have talked the we can also use like mercury or some liquids like uh, like uh, tetra boromethane and uh, many other liquid corrosive liquids uh, uh, we are also using so this is the fluids are hazardous to our environment and as well as for us error is introduced if the diameter of the tube is less as you can understand L leveling is required before attaching any youtube manometer to our process we have to understand the manometric fluid must be on zero otherwise the reading will be faulty now the second one is inclined manometer let's talk about it as you can see in the figure there are uh, inclined type manometer nothing is different from youtube manometer here is the basic difference is that this is inclined type and uh, as we talked in youtube manometer if the lag is inclined we can get a better response from it and we can measure a small pressure difference let's talk about it an inclined manometer is a slightly curved tube with a liquid inside typically a form of oil mixture along the tube middle portion and graduations the graduations are commonly hundreds of an inch depending on the manometer's manufacturer a user placed the manometer in a gas draft flow the pressure exerted by the flow pressure against the internal liquid the amount of liquid displacement is viewed and measured through the tube graduations producing a pressure value as you can understand the graduation are so many hundreds of an in an in an inch but that that is already depended how much we want to partition the inch or how much we using the scale want to partition that portion that is depend on a manufacturer actually not on us let's talk about benefits the manometers inclined angle provide many advantages a small or low amount of pressure against the inclined manometer will be produce a large liquid movement relative to the tube graduation as we as we talked before if uh, the tube is inclined that is also working with the gravitational acceleration so in the different slightly difference in pressure we can measure with this okay let's talk about sensitivity as we talked previously that is very it is very sensitive because it is inclined so we can measure a minor difference between pressure calibrating the high accuracy of the inclined manometer make it price precise tool for calibration calibrating other tools because we can understand this is very sensitive tool this is very high high in accuracy so we can calibrate other tools with the help of inclined youtube manometers let's talk about part there is not a, any special part we are using in this so it is very easy to use this now let's talk about how we measuring this as you can see in this Im image there is an angle between horizontal and the inclined tube the angle is called theta and the height between the level and the level in inclined lag is different and that is x now we have to measure the s scale value so or the scale value is always the x upon sine theta x is the difference between levels and theta is the angle of inclined tube 
the angle of inclined tube must be greater than 5 degrees because if we going to decrease it the average ratio cannot be maintained now move on to mercury barometer we already talked about youtube manometer and inclined type youtube manometers oh, and you can understand now you can understand that both are similar but the accuracy of inclined type manometer is high the sensitivity of inclined type manometer is high and the cost of inclined type manometer is also high now let's talk about barometer actually what is the barometer you can see in the image there are different types of barometer in this image a barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure normally here is a pot in which the mercury is filled and when the pressure is applied the mercury is rising the level in the tube in the mercury barometer atmospheric pressure valence a column of mercury the height of which can be precisely measured to increase their accuracy mercury barometers are often corrected for ambient temperature and the local value of gravity now the last one is micro manometer as you can see there is there is a micro manometer which is using via technician and right hand side you can also see there is a different but similar micro manometer we are using now let's understand what the micrometer is micro manometer is and how we use this there is a block diagram sorry there is a diagram of micro manometer for accurate measurement of extremely small pressure difference micro manometers are used we can measure a small very extremely small pressure difference by micro manometer now let's talk in description detail a micro manometer is a special type of manometer designed to measure extremely small difference in pressure while their primary function is to measure pressure manometers may also be designed to provide other related information such data may either be measured directly with the same tool or calculated by the device based on other measurement it is used to make there are variety of types of micro manometers which with the digital micro manometer being the most common kind digital micro meter micro manometer as you see in the previous image this is a digital type micro manometer you can see this is mostly we are using when such change are detected they respond with the electrical signal proportionate the, to the pressure change these electrical signals are then used to calculate pressure value in addition to pressure measurement capability a micro manometer may be designed to serve other purposes as well okay understand it may have the ability to log data either manually or automatically as measurement are taken stored data can later be downloaded to a computer for analysis some micro manometers may also be used with a pitot tube to measure the velocity and to calculate the volumetric flow rate of the fluid others are designed for temperature and humidity measurement as well now we are going to understand what the micro manometer is micro manometer is a device that we are going to measure the pressure or a pressure difference and this is the very we can measure a extremely small difference in pressure by this so there are different types of micro manometers available in the market we only can, we can only measure the pressure by this but also we can manipulate the pressure in other forms actually we are going to use this micro manometer as a transducer we can convert the pressure in others other units also and we also can measure the velocity the flow and many other things by this micro manometer so it is so much important tool for our fields now move on to next chapter 
and the chapter is pressure measurement part 2 for next chapter click in the link below in the description for all the chapters we are made over this industrial instrumentation you can access these also from the given link in the description so please keep watching learn at home and please do subscribe and like and share our video thank you so much